In this session, I am going to discuss solution chapter, one of the subtopics. So that is towards competitive examination, important topic. Direct questions they are asking. Ideal and non-ideal solutions. We have so many examples like uh, N-butyl bromide, N-butyl chloride. So many examples we have. But how to remember towards competitive exam? So I am going to discuss some shortcuts. Okay, first let's begin with ideal, non-ideal solutions. Ideal solution which obeys Raoult's law. Which obeys Raoult's law. So non-ideal solutions, what is Raoult's law? And the next other topics coming days I am going to do. So non-ideal solutions, in this topic only examples, competitive points we can concentrate. Non-ideal solutions, which do not obey Raoult's law. Which do not obey Raoult's law. Okay. Now, suppose they are giving questions like this. Benzene toline. Benzene toline. Or else ethyl chloride. One second. Yes. Ethyl chloride and ethyl bromide ethyl bromide what type of solution whether it is ideal solution or non-ideal solution but non-ideal solutions again we have two types students that one we call it as positive deviation and another one we call it as negative deviation positive deviation negative deviation in positive deviation Positive deviation, delta H greater than 0, delta V greater than 0. Here delta H less than 0, delta is mixing. So delta V also less than 0. But here delta H and delta delta H equal to 0, delta V also 0. So main important points only I am teaching here. So ideal solutions which obey Raoult's law, non-ideal solutions which do not obey Raoult's law. Non-ideal solutions again we have two types, positive and negative. So delta H greater than 0, delta V greater than 0. Here less than, less than. Here AA interaction. One more point. I am writing here ideal solution, second point. Second point. In ideal solutions, in ideal solutions, AA interaction, BB interaction and AB interaction same. AA, BB, AB interactions are same. So see, suppose you are making A2 plus B2, finally it gives rise to AB. So between AA bond breaking, between BB bond breaking slowly, finally AB bond making. Okay, here interactions. Suppose, uh, little more uh, clear, I am explaining here, interactions is nothing but same enthalpy. Suppose if you want to break, if you want to break bond dissociation energy, if you consider bond dissociation energy AA, for, uh, for that bond breaking, we need 10 kilojoule per mole energy. The same way here also, 10 kilojoule. And same way after formation of it release energy, that is also 10 kilojoules. Like uh, finally what I am trying to say here, Interactions are same. Interactions are same. That enthalpy is same. And whereas in non-ideal solution, non-ideal solution, positive deviation. If you speak about positive deviation, here AA interaction, BB interaction so greater than AB. And if you go for negative deviation students, definitely it is Vulta. So negative deviations, AA interactions, BB interactions less than AB. Okay. So like this main points I have discussed. Now we will concentrate examples. Towards competitive mains and neat level and other competitive exams also direct questions from this topic. Okay, now let me write first ideal solutions, non-ideal solutions. Ideal, this is what students, yes, non-ideal solutions. 
non-ideal solution. Non-ideal solutions, again, we have two types, right? So one we call it as positive deviation and another one negative deviation. Positive deviation and negative deviation. Now, I am writing first of all example. Okay, now look at this. Ideal solution. First, I am writing the example. First one is N-butyl bromide. N-butyl bromide. And N-butyl chloride. N-butyl chloride. Okay, second example. Ethyl, ethyl chloride and ethyl iodide. And ethyl iodide. Next one. N heptane. Next C. N heptane and N hexane. N hexane. Right. So now next one. Chlorobenzene. Bromobenzene. See so here. Chlorobenzene and chlorobenzene and bromobenzene. So now next one. Pause to deviation. Pause to deviation. First example. Ethyl alcohol and water. Ethyl alcohol and water. And second example, methyl alcohol. Methyl alcohol and water. And the next one, methyl alcohol and CCL4. Next, ethyl alcohol, ethyl alcohol and cyclohexane. Next one. Acetone and CS2. Next, CCL4 and toline. Okay, next, this one. First example, HCl and water. Okay, now next one, HNO3 and water. Next, H2O plus formic acid. Next, chloroform. Chloroform plus benzene. Next, chloroform plus acetone. Chloroform plus acetone. This is most important example. Next, sixth one. Acid plus acetic acid plus peridine. Like this example. See, if you see here five, here so many, here not only five, so many examples, some seven, eight examples, here also six nearly 20 more than 20 examples but how easily we can remember towards competitive examination see students i'll give you shortcut what is the shortcut we are using here see shortcut common name what is that students common name so example for ideal solution Ideal solution. Something is common. Something is common. I can show also. See. Here, chlorobenzene. Benzene. Bromobenzene. Benzene, benzene, common. Next, N-heptane. N. N. Common. Right? So, like, uh, next, EBO example. EBO example, if you see, ethyl bromide, ethyl chloride. 
ethyl ethyl is common common names means that is go for ideal solution right so next uh, sometimes they are asking like this benzene and toluene yes benzene and toluene also example of what is this ideal solution what is benzene structure this is what is toluene structure this one so what is this this is benzene and what is this this is methyl benzene this is methyl benzene common name is toluene see here common is there no common name toluene if you see common name you may not find out but if you go for uh, what is this methyl benzene it's a iupac name then what is this you can definitely come to know this is what benzene here also benzene common so like that easily we can guess the answer for ideal solution clear students now go for next one what is that yes positive deviation for positive deviations what is the shortcut we are using mostly mostly alcohol mostly alcohol and carbon disulfide cs2 ccl4 these type of solvents are there definitely it will go for positive deviation positive deviation mostly alcohols and cs2 ccl4 <coughs> that is positive deviation next last part what is the last part students mostly acid acid like uh, hcl combination hno3 combination uh, next one Uh, another example we have taken uh, yes some of the students uh, coh some of the students uh, they are feeling difficulty here chloroform case actually chloroform also acidic in nature students i can show why it is how it is reamer demon reaction carbyl amine reaction these two reactions play important role so c ch coming days i am going to do more and more organic videos each and every reaction esterification ester hydrolysis williamson ethosynthesis and what are the possibilities what are the not possible alkyl halides if you take not possible alkyl halides what happens everything how to cover in easy way competitive examination definitely i am going to upload please informative friends also please subscribe our channel students definitely you will get more benefit okay see here according to index to effect according to index to effect so what is the students if minus i groups are there what happen acidic strength increases right acidic strength increases is acidic strength directly proportional to minus i groups yes according to index to effect this is minus i group minus i group minus i group what is the minus i group characteristic withdraws the electrons Uh, with the draws electrons towards itself such a way between carbon and carbon is giving electrons to chlorine right between carbon and hydrogen bond is now weaker if it is weaker definitely what happen it easily lose easily lose hydrogen which is easily lose hydrogen easily lose hydrogen compounds are acidic in nature compounds are acidic in nature is it clear that's it so that is why you can consider as this is acidic that's why i gave one example to you chloroform and acetone here most of the students are thinking uh, uh, difficult so acetone is nothing but they are uh, writing positive deviation no students it's not like that so it is negative deviation it is acidic in nature no acidic in nature so that's why definitely it will go for negative deviation that too, uh, one important point is there intramolecular intermolecular hydrogen bonding is there i can show that is also why it shows negative deviation reason also they are asking okay look into this double bond move right so here polarity develops minus here what happen if you take ccl cl cl c right this is plus right so between these two hydrogen bonding develops this is intermolecular hydrogen bonding because of this reason also it can show negative deviation okay clear students now go back to the shortcut now examples we can work out what i said to you positive deviations is nothing but mostly alcohols right cs2 ccl4 alcohols cs2 ccl4 now look into this see 
this is alcohol right and this is also alcohol alcohol ccl4 also there here alcohol is there this is ch2 this is ccl4 right these are all under positive division see this is acid this is acid this is acid it is acidic in nature acidic in nature acid so all acid mostly acid undergo so uh, what is this negative deviation mostly acid shows negative deviation clear students very easy we can work out the questions and the next numerical part also solution chapter uh, taking solute solvent and some difficulty they are facing students that's why important numericals all i am going to upload before going to the numericals everybody must practice this uh, formula then it is easy i am writing the important information here important information important data so first one is in solution chapter we are learning binary homogeneous mixture binary homogeneous mixture homogeneous is nothing but same phase same phase okay uh, mixing of all suppose air air is an example in air nitrogen gas is there oxygen is gas is there co2 co all are there but i am going to take major percentage this is 78 percentage this is 21 percentage right which is major which is excess part that we call it as solvent which is less part that we call it as solute so finally what i am trying to say here binary is nothing but two components binary is nothing but two components out of two components one is solute another one is solvent right so solute always it is in less part solvent always in major part or excess part okay from table also you can expect the question solid in solid example copper and gold right gold is solvent copper is solute which is less part so next students one more point even uh, air also in air what is the solute oxygen major two gases only i am taking oxygen is solute nitrogen is solvent like that now next point sometimes indirect information they are giving to us so see students solute plus solvent gives rise to finally solution this is we are learning in solution chapter only homogeneous solutions keep it in mind okay so different examples we have solute in solute uh, solid in solid solid in liquid gas in liquid gas in gas gas in gas means air solid in solid alloys next liquid in gas liquid in liquid liquid in liquid alcohols examples plays important role now here numerical part i am going to concentrate numerical part numerical part also student is feeling uh, difficulty identifying solute and solvent so what i said here student solute is always less part right and the solvent is always excess part right so let me give one simple question here what is that suppose 2 grams of benzene or else 25 grams of benzene mixed with mixed with 75 grams of toluene right student so try to write answer right what is answer 25 grams of benzene students here solution is nothing but maybe two solid maybe two liquid maybe two gases that doesn't matter physical state here what is this i have taken 25 grams of benzene liquid only this is also liquid 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 solution so which is the less part that is what solute right which is excess part that is what solvent right so like that we have to find out in the given numerical is it clear yes very good now come back to the next point next in numerical part we are using like next one w2 m2 and w1 m1 what is w2 so here next i am talking about first n2 n2 this is n1 n2 equal to weight by gram molecular weight so n1 equal to weight by gram molecular weight this n2 information is solute information 
n1 information is solvent information so what is this trying to say answers now w2 equal to weight of solute weight of solute m2 equal to molecular weight of solute for many times they are going to ask you find out molecular weight of solute only if they are not mention solute um, what is this exact solute what is the solute they are adding definitely they will ask mass or uh, non electrolyte non volatile solute like that they can mention means definitely we have to calculate molecular weight here w1 is nothing but weight of solvent weight of solvent next m2 is nothing but m2 is nothing but what is this molecular weight of solvent that's it clear next another one we are using molality molality numerical molality of formula we are using okay so concentration terms molality we are using students what is the molality formula weight by gram molecular weight into 1000 by w in gram right so what is this weight here this weight is w2 that means solute weight this is m2 m2 is nothing but molecular weight of solute right next this is what 1000 is common this w1 is nothing but w1 grams that is nothing but solvent yes if you have combined these important data this important data definitely it is easy work of the numericals now i am going to give the formula important formula so colligative properties from colligative properties only we are getting numericals colligative properties are properties which are depends on number of non volatile solute number of non volatile solute see students to understand in one shot so i am giving one important trick here see solute this is solvent okay this what type of solute i am taking non volatile solute non volatile solute means it is not evaporating it is not evaporating suppose sugar you can keep morning you will keep and uh, go to college after that evening you can check it it can evaporate no salt it can evaporate no so as it is so petrol is there open so it can evaporate volatility is more uh, next acetone nail polish remover acetone also open the lid definitely less k powder volatility is more means evaporation is more volatility is more more volatile less volatile we are speaking let me write here points less volatile means less volatile or non volatile we are speaking non electrolyte these are all so non volatile means no evaporation no evaporation negligible are very 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 less okay volatile volatile means evaporation is more volatile means evaporation is more evaporation is more clear that's it that's it now come back to this one okay solute i am taking like this student solute i am taking. observed here see volatility is very less non volatile solute no now what i am taking here yes it is volatile liquid i am taking so here volatility more means you can show evaporation is more vapor pressure is more vapor pressure this is what vapor pressure vapor pressure so in vapor state pressure vapor pressure right so here also vapor pressure is more this is volatile right volatile liquid now i am going to add these two i am going to add these two now come back to this one students this is what solution this is right so here this solute and the solvent both i have added here i have added here what happened look into this what happened so here i have non volatile solute and volatile solvent both so solute you can write like this dot okay 
Now, what I absorb here? What I absorb? Solution vapor pressure, I have calculated. Solution vapor pressure like this. So, when compared to solute, it is more. Now, you, I am speaking about only these two. I am speaking about only this is liquid, pure liquid, pure liquid, pure liquid. Okay, this is what? Solution, solution. I am comparing only solute, uh, uh, what is this? Solvent and solution. So, listen, come carefully to your point, students. See here, what happened? Here, vapor pressure in solution case, it is less when compared to solvent. Here, in pure liquid state, vapor pressure is more. It is volatile liquid. For this volatile liquid, what I added? Non-volatile solute. Non-volatile solute is not ready to vaporate, not ready to escape out, not ready to go into vapor state. At the same time, he is not giving space to solvent also. See, on surface it is, uh, uh, it is there, on surface, then it is not giving to liquid also. So, that is the reason what happened here, liquid vapor pressure decreases. But overall we call it as your solute plus solvent, no? Solute plus solvent is nothing but right? So, finally what to observe, vapor pressure decreases, right? So, now compared to solvent, pure liquid, pure liquid. What happened? Solution vapor pressure decreases, right? What is the reason? Due to addition of non-volatile solute. Due to addition of non-volatile solute. This is the main important point. Due to addition of, of non-volatile solute. Non-volatile solute. Vapor pressure of solution decreases. Clear? That's it. It is not depends on the nature. It respective of the nature. What is just if you add more non volatile solute, more depression, more what is this relative lowering of vapor pressure? See, actually we are comparing solute solvent and the solution we are comparing, no, that is we call it as relatively lowering. Relative. Relatively, we are expressing relative lowering of vapor pressure. If vapor pressure decreases, definitely boiling point increases. Okay. Why? These two are inversely proportional to each other. So, because of addition of non-volatile solute, vapor pressure of solution decreases. We have observed here, students. Clear? So, now next one, vapor pressure decreases means what happened? It affects boiling points also. And even depression in freezing point. Freezing point also less. What is the reason? Addition of non-volatile solute. No, no, no other, no other point. Only one point that is addition of non-volatile solute. Now next point. Osmotic pressure also. Osmotic pressure. Osmotic pressure. Students, here these four are colligative properties. Colligative properties are properties which is depends on non-volatile solute addition. If you add more number of non-volatile solute, more lowering in vapor pressure. If low vapor pressure more or less, then boiling point raises more and depression in freezing point and osmotic pressure also affect. Okay. Now, one simple example I am giving to understand easy way, students. Egg boiling. Okay. Egg uh, I am writing here. Egg boiling is the best example. Egg boiling. Actually, egg time. Egg, just egg plus water. We are taking one container, one bowl and adding egg and water. So, what is the water boiling point? 100 degrees centigrade. Yet, 100 degrees centigrade, egg will not cook properly. Egg will not, will not cook properly. It will not come out in proper way. Okay. So then, what uh, generally uh, mothers they will do, here they will add little salt. They will add little salt. For this water, if they add salt, salt is nothing but non-volatile solute. Non-volatile solute. No evaporation, no. If you add non-volatile solute to liquid, actual liquid is 100 degrees. Because of this non-volatile solute added, what happened now? 
it increases to 100 to 110 degrees. 110 degrees egg boiling proper. Egg boiling proper. So to increase boiling point, what mother will do? Add salt. That is only you call it as non-volatile solute. Because of non-volatile solute, water boiling point, what happened? Increases. Solution water boiling point. This is pure liquid. 100 degrees. After adding salt, water plus salt, salt water. Salt water is nothing but what? Solution. Solution boiling point increases. What is the reason? Because of this addition. So, finally, egg cooking properly. Right? Easily understanding, no? Now, next, I am going to give formula here. Okay? So, formally, before coming to the next before coming to the next video, please everyone practice this formula and come definitely easily you can understand this one. Okay. What is the important formula? Relative lowering of vapor pressure. What is the formula? Relative lowering of vapor pressure. So, relatively we are expressing this one. No? So, we are writing the point here. So, what is the student? P10 minus P1 by P10 that is equal to the W2 by M2 into M1 by W1. This derivation part also there. If you required, I will upload this coming days video. Otherwise, no need. Only numerical part plays important role, students, that you can concentrate for uh, your board examination and competitive also. That's it. Now write the terms here. P10 is nothing but, anybody have idea what is P10 here? P10. Yes, this is vapor pressure of pure solvent. Pure solvent. What is the pure solvent in the given numerical? We have to find out. This is also the same thing. P10 vapor pressure of solution. Next, W2, M2, M1, W1 already had given, no? What is this W2, M2? W2 equal to weight of solute. M2 equal to molecular weight of solute. Next one. W1 equal to weight of solvent. M2 equal to molecular weight solvent. Clear? That's it. Now what else? What are the numericals based on this they are asking? Coming video, next video I can. Okay. Now note it, note it down. Next one, elevation in boiling point. This is relative lowering of vapor pressure. Write down. Relative lowering of vapor pressure formula. Next, elevation in boiling point. Elevation in BP, boiling point. What is the formula? Delta TB equal to KB into M. Molality. Molality is what? W2 into 1000 by, already had given above. So, directly I am writing here M2 into W1. Delta TB. Right, students? That's all. Sometimes delta TB calculation also they will ask. You can write that one. Delta TB equal to TB minus T naught B. TB is nothing but solution. Solution boiling point always raised, no? And this is what? Pure solvent. This is pure solvent. That's it. Clear? Now the same similar way, depression in freezing point also. In freezing point, delta T of F into M. Okay, delta T of equal to K of W2 into M2 into W1. Here also same W2 M2 solute W1 solvent. This is K of K of K 
KB also they are asking sometimes question students. KB is nothing but molar elevation constant, ebullioscopic constant. This is KO, KF, KF also better to write. This is KB. KB I am writing here, ebullioscopic constant. Ebullioscopic constant. Next. KF is nothing but, KF is nothing but, Cryoscopic constraint. Let me write your point, students. You also write down. Cryoscopic constraint. Okay, again, same thing. Delta TF, how to calculate? Any idea? Delta TF, how to calculate? Yes. T naught TF minus ulta. Ulta here. T naught TF minus TF. T naught EF is nothing but pure solvent. EF is nothing but solution. That's clear? Now last one. What is this? Osmotic pressure. Osmotic pressure. Here isotonic solutions, hypertonic solutions, they are asking questions. So that is also important. Pi equal to CRT. C is nothing but molarity, concentration term, concentration term. C is nothing but CRM, anything. M equal to number of moles of solute present in 1 liter in solution. C is N by V R T. Okay. So finally, what we are taking here formula pi equal to. So this is what students number of moles weight by gram molecular weight. So how to write W2 by M2. Okay, always they will ask solute only. How much you added that only they will ask. Okay, here W2 by M2 into next to this is what R into E into next thousand by Volume in ml. Volume in ml. At the time, I am writing all the points. If you divide with the uh, thousand, that is converting into ml. Why? Because numericals they are giving in ml. That's why you can take this formula. Here also, W to M to weight of solute, molecular weight of solute. R is constant. R is the gas constant. My value that is 8.314. We are taking and next one bar means 0.083 calories means 1.98. Numerical explanation time I will give you. Okay. Next, next another formula in osmotic pressure, which is frequently asking question in this isotonic solution. For isotonic solution, also one formula is there. Let me complete that point. So isotonic, isotonic solutions is nothing but same osmotic pressure, same osmotic pressure. That is pi 1 equal to pi 2. Pi 1 equal to pi 2. When osmotic pressures are same, that is we call it as isotonic. Hypertonic, hypertonic, hyperactive means the solution which is having, write down, the solution which is having, which is having more osmotic pressure, more Hyperactive guys means hyper something is more. Hypertonic solution. The solution is just having more osmotic pressure. More osmotic pressure. Okay. Hypertonic. Hypertonic. Hypotonic. Hypotonic is not that osmotic pressure. Less osmotic pressure when compared to other. When compared to other. Out of two solutions, with, with, both are same concentration. No. Same concentration, same osmotic pressure, same concentration, isotonic solutions, which is having higher concentration, hypertonic. Hypotonic is nothing but less concentration. You can express that way also. In terms of osmotic pressure also, you can express. When compared to others, less. Okay? That's it. Pi 1 equal to pi 2. That is nothing but C equal to C2. What is C1, students? N1 1, N1 by V is equal to N2 by V2. So, volume here same. If volume same, V1 equal to V2. 
volume C. V1 equal to V2. Then N1 equal to students N2. N1 is nothing but W1 by M1 equal to W2 by M2. Number of moles equal to weight by molar weight, right? So if it is solute, solute, solvent, solvent, you can write like this. Finally, these are the formulas we are using in colligative properties. In addition to that, Van der Hoff factor numericals also there. So coming videos, I am going to explain all the numerical each relative lowering of vapor pressure, one numerical, next elevation in boiling point, depression is in point, osmotic pressure, all numericals I am going to upload students. So prepare well for exams and please subscribe our channel and inform to all your friends who are preparing for NEET and mains. Definitely it is helpful. Re yesterday, uh, yesterday it completed uh, NEET examination. So very good score they have got. All organic part videos I have done. So many students they have watched our videos and they have got very good marks in organic. Please you also subscribe and inform to all. Definitely it is useful videos. Okay students, thank you. Thanks for watching.